run away. You all are leaders. God is calling men because they are strong. He's calling you today to turn from your homosexuality. Turn from your lesbian. Turn from your hatred. Turn from your rape. God is calling you today. Are you ready to come back to the gate? He's the Lord of the harvest. He's the Lord of the harvest. Jesus Christ is the Lord. And he said he will shake the unshakable and move the unmovable to get his true worshiper. Are you the one that God is searching for? Are you the one that Jesus Christ is searching for and you're telling him to go home? Are you the one that Jesus is calling young lady and you're telling him to go home? Tomorrow is too late. There is no tomorrow. No man dies and go in tomorrow and come back. There is no tomorrow. God is calling you. God is calling you. He's telling you to come out. Come out of that flesh and life. You leave it. Come out of that lustful life, you're leaving. Come out of that prideful life, you're leaving. Come back to him. He's the agape God. He's the agape God. He never changed. God never changed. And today I'm telling you that if you could come back to God, he will change you. He will revive you. Oh. He will question you. Oh. He will call you his side. What are you waiting on? When you wake in the morning, you do the same thing. And you go to sleep in the night, you do the same thing. When you all up talk, wake you up, one o'clock in the morning, you tell yourself, Okay, let me go into the shower or let me have some sex and go back to sleep. God did not wake you up for that. He wake you up to intercede. He wake you up to pray. He wake you up to come to Him. God is calling you America. God is calling you back today. Repent. For God called a man once, not twice. But God called you once. He didn't call you twice. He called you because he loved you. He called you because he wanted change. He called you. Jesus Christ called you because he wants you to make and be a living sacrifice. Come back to Jesus Christ today before it's too late. And let the church pray. Amen. Amen. Let the church say, Amen. Yeah. Thank you, sister. John, for that fiery testimony, that fiery gospel, that fiery sermon. And I hope everybody was listening. Amen. We are on a time limit right now. We are on a time limit. And that time limit is up to you to decide what you're going to do with your soul while you're still living. And you have to choose your final destination in the specified amount of time. Amen. And you got to know while you're still living. And the time limit is choose your salvation or choose your damnation. Amen. We're on a time limit. So like this world is a big prison cell and we are all on death row. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit up in here. We are all on death row. Because God said, those that know it, my son, shall have eternal life. But those that know it, not my son, are already condemned. Satan has you bound up in chains right now. 
Then as you bound up in chains and you are condemned, but guess what? Jesus can snatch those chains off of you. He can break all of those chains and you are no longer condemned. Amen. Amen. That's why you must choose Jesus in this specified amount of time. While you are still living, while your mouth can still sing Him praises, while your knees can still stand and pray, and while your ears can still hear the truth of Jesus. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen, amen. so that we can be what? So that we can be what? So that we can be free. Free from what? Free from the evil of this world and the devil's wicked schemes. The devil's wicked schemes. Do you know what the devil does every day? you know what he does every day? He plots on everybody under my voice. He plots to everybody under my voice to keep you away from Jesus. I would like to, to keep you away, away from Jesus. He's going to try to change your mind every day. He's going to throw this thing at you. He's going to throw that thing at you. And he knows what buttons to push. He knows exactly what buttons to push. Amen? That's what he does every day. And he attacks the ones who love Jesus the most. He attacks Christians the most. I'm not going to say all Christians, because some Christians are not really Christians. But all followers of Jesus, he attacks them the most. Because you're already close to the Lord. Amen. And it will be a reward. It will be bragging rights if you can take your Christian away from Jesus. And go straight to God and start bragging. Ha ha ha! Look at there, look at there. But you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, These are my children. Thank you, Father, for giving them to me. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Amen. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. As long as you are covered by the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. You are covered by the blood and nobody can snatch you out of their hand, out of your, out of Jesus' hand. Amen. They cannot touch you. You'll be like incapable, untouchable. Incapable, you'll be untouchable. Just like that TV show I used to watch back in the day. The untouchable. When you walk with Jesus, you are untouchable. Amen. When you walk with Jesus, yeah. you are always protected, you are yeah. never neglected, yeah. it's just yeah. he is connected, and we yeah. do his will as requested. Yes, the blood Am I right blood. about it? The blood of Jesus. Yes, the blood. Come on, who knows about the blood of Jesus? Let me see if anybody here knows about the blood of Jesus and his power. Not you, Father, I know you're full of the blood. Who knows about the blood of Jesus? Who's got a testimony today? Yes. Amen. The blood of Jesus never loses its power. Amen. Amen. I want to be so full of the blood of Jesus. I want to be so full, I want to be like that net, so full of the blood of Jesus. 
Go ahead. The message is this. If Jesus Christ loves you very much, 